The U.S. Secretary of Labor toured the Los Angeles and Long Beach ports today to see how they are working to ease the supply chain issues. News 8's Abby Alford is breaking down the Secretary's plans for the long term and why some supply chain experts don't necessarily agree. The marine layer makes it tough to see, but on a clear day, a good vantage point and binoculars, San Diegans can spot some of the ships that are waiting to dock in Los Angeles and Long Beach. On Tuesday, the Secretary of Labor toured the ports and he applauded the efforts to address the supply chain issues, but he says long term, it'll take new jobs and modernization. In his third stop at the nation's major U.S. ports in recent weeks, Secretary of Labor Marty Walsh toured the Los Angeles and Long Beach ports to promote the Biden-Harris Action Plan for America's ports and waterways. Absolutely amazing when you think of the logistical operations that happen here in this port. Officials say goods are making it to the shelves for the holidays, but more than 80 ships are still waiting to dock in L.A. and Long Beach. You're seeing the solution every day here on the port. Uh, you're seeing the, the ships come in, you're seeing the ships being unloaded. The Los Angeles port started imposing $100 for each lingering container per day. That led to a decline in aging cargo by about 40 percent on the docks, which led the port complex to delay imposing fines on carriers. We have not collected a nickel of that penalty yet. We put it out there to motivate people and it has done just that. The secretary says under the $1 trillion infrastructure bill, $17 billion will be set aside to improve infrastructure at coastal ports and create new jobs, which could avoid future supply chain backlogs. And we're going to be able to create good jobs here in California and all across the country. Dr. Simon Kroom is a professor of supply chain management at the University of San Diego. He says American consumers need to learn to be less reliant on foreign producers. We've been talking about reshoring and bringing jobs back to America. Um, well, you can't do that with everything because the natural resources may not be here. The skills may not be here. More importantly, consumers won't pay. Instead, Kroom compares the supply chain issues to being stuck on a freeway. At some point, you need to get off and change your route. What has got to happen? A fundamental rethinking of the industrial capital marketplace. The secretary says 40 percent of America's goods go through the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach, making them the busiest in the nation and largest in the world.